And the original speech from the proposer uh, in the state of the existing funding policy was somewhat misleading in that the existing HMO policy, sorry about that, means, was described in terms of shared houses, but of course it doesn't apply to the sort of shared house HMO that Labour are proposing in their motion and in their manifesto. It's um, the existing plan policy that obviously applies the existing definition of large large storage. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to how you use the planning policy for this to work anyway, because if you ask the permission to convert to an HMO, you can then not use that permission for three years. So it would be dead easy for group and then these all apply for permission for their houses to be HMOs. You do need to use them as family homes and stop any real shared houses taking the cash from that street. I'm not quite sure whether that's what they were intended to give a, a, a charge to return these like that. A couple of points on rents. Uh, the suggestion that rents won't go up with these policies is absolutely ludicrous because the vast amounts of extra bureaucratic costs and building costs that Colin referred to will have to be paid by the landlord, and there's only one source of money in the system, which is the payment. The only way the landlord can get this money to pay the council for all these extra tax and bureaucrats is to put the rent up. So they will either put the rent up or get out of the market. There is no alternative. Money cannot be manufactured out of thin air. That's the last day that they've gotten to try to do. <laughs> Another point on rents is that we have been told that there is a large differential between chair houses and family homes, and that landlords can make a lot more letting the house as separate rooms. I don't see that. Um, I, I do look at prices every day. And I see that in very rough round numbers, in Cambridge, the bedroom costs £350, and it doesn't really matter whether it's part of the family house or whether it's part of the shared house. So I'm not convinced by that, unless I can show it for this piece. And finally, what else, if you can't do some for shared houses, can you do with large houses that uh, come up to the end of their ground use? You can pull them down to the flats there, which might produce better numbers than the shared houses. Or you can convert them to offices, but it's very difficult to use large houses as family homes these days. You just can't get the living servants. 